recording now. And uh, right. yeah, if you guys want to just introduce yourselves. Hi, we're Dewanatron. I'm Leon Dewan. I'm Brian Dewan. And we've been building instruments for about eight years now. Okay, well this is the electronics lab where um, I build the electronics for the various Dewanatron instruments. No lab is complete without its oscilloscope and its frequency counter. This is actually an etching tank. I etch my own circuit boards and this is kind of like a fish tank. It's got an aerator in it and a heater in it so you can etch your boards pretty fast. You know, I do all my stuff in Photoshop, in Adobe Illustrator, print it out on a transparency, print it on something like this, expose the board, and then the board has a positive photoresist on it, which means where light strikes, the coating gets eaten away when you put it in the developer, and that's covering copper. So if you expose a board on this, and then develop it, and then put it in the etching bath that I was just showing you, you end up getting all the traces for your printed circuit board. Oh yeah, this is this is the super <laughs> super messed up early prototype. <laughs> Actually, this was like my first and last performance art soldering experience. Cool. I was getting it ready for a show that we were playing at Pierogi back in the spring of 2004, and I wasn't quite done with it, but I really wanted to play it in the show, so I didn't have time to finish soldering everything up, so I just showed up at the show with a soldering iron and spent the first 20 minutes like finishing it in front of the crowd. And then it was finally done and it worked. <laughs> and that was a very satisfying experience. I spent most of the 90s playing in this ridiculously positive, optimistic band called The Happiest Guys in the World. There's a place where the rivers flow on stream. monomaniacally positive, almost to a nauseating point, and we just sang really happy songs called like, you can make a difference if you try, 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 and love, it's definitely the answer. And our album had little exclamation points after every song title, so that sort of cemented the whole happy thing. The story actually all starts in 1978, when my grandfather told me to get this chip from Radio Shack called the SN76477, yeah. which was used in video games at that time, and then Radio Shack marketed a consumer version of this chip for experimenters to mess around with, and it's basically a little primitive synthesizer on a chip. So my dad was an inventor, and I grew up building stuff for him, and I didn't have that much time to do my own stuff, so every time... I would dig into my toolbox and see the SN76477 from 1978. I'd feel a little pang of, too bad I never did anything with it. Maybe one of these days. So then many years later, I was over at Brian's place in 2002 when he showed me this thing that a friend of, a friend of his had built. And I guess it really wasn't working properly, but it used to work. I was like, this looks kind of familiar. Let's look under the hood. <laughs> and then there under the hood was the holy grail of my childhood musical ambition, the SN76477. And that's the infamous water effect. It's like a 303 kind of, it's almost got some kind of acid effect during it. 
Exactly. <laughs>